So our next speaker is Vova Kolikov uh, from the Technion that will talk about SYNDMM, a single image denoising diffusion model. And this is a joint work with uh, Shahar Yadin, Matan Kleiner, and Tomer Michaeli. Hello, everyone. My name is Vladimir Kulikov. I am an MEC student under the supervision of Professor Tomer Michaeli at the Technion. I will be presenting a recent work called SYNDDM, a single image denoising diffusion model. Generative models have improved immensely over the past few years. These improvements had led to amazing image generation capabilities from unconditional sampling to text guided image synthesis. A lot of this progress has been made thanks to the introduction of diffusion models. However, these externally trained models require a large data set for training, which hurts their ability to remain loyal to a specific image. For example, asking stable diffusion to modify these pyramids into a volcano eruption either gives a result that does not look like a volcano eruption if we use a small guidance strength, or gives a result that does not look like the original pyramids if we use a strong guidance strength. As another example, asking DALI to, to add cracks to these pyramids sometimes has a negligible effect and sometimes results in unnatural images. So how can we do image manipulation while staying loyal to the original image? In recent years, internally trained generative models were introduced. These models learned the internal statistics of a single image and leveraged them to perform image synthesis and manipulation. For example, SINGAN, a single image GAN from our group, and GPNN, a patch nearest neighbors approach from the group of Michal Irani. These models learn the patch distribution within a single image and are able to generate new diverse samples that semantically resemble the image. In addition, they can perform a variety of image manipulation tasks. While these methods remain loyal to the training image's internal statistics, there is no natural way to guide the sampling process in those models. For example, using text. Here we propose to combine the approach of internally trained generative models with the power of diffusion models. We introduce SYNDDM, a diffusion-based single image generative model. Like existing single image models, once SYNDDM is trained on a single image, it can generate diverse samples of arbitrary dimensions. And like conventional diffusion models, the sampling process can be easily guided. For example, we can control the content of the generated samples using text by leveraging a pre-trained clip model. We can also control the style of the samples in a similar manner. To allow our model to learn from a single image, we need to capture its internal statistics. This can be done by learning the distribution of patches of different sizes within the image where larger patches capture the image's global structure and the smaller patches capture the finer details, like textures. In order to do so, we will use the formalism of diffusion models on the single image applied at multiple scales. Specifically, we downsampling the training image multiple times and gradually add noise to each until we obtain a pure noise image. Each image has a time and scale index indicating the corresponding noise level and scale. In fact, for the first scale, we only add noise. And for the other scales, we also gradually blur the image. In addition to adding noise, we will see in a minute why. This is called the forward diffusion process. Our goal is to learn a reverse diffusion process that follows a path of this form in the time scale space which means that during sampling, we start from a new noise map at the coarsest scale and gradually remove noise and upsample the image until we obtain a clean generated image at the finest scale. The diffusion process is driven by a single fully convolutional model conditioned on both the time and the scale. Importantly, we don't, have, we don't use attention or downsampling layers, limiting the model's receptive field. We choose the image scales such that the receptive field covers 40% of the area of the first scale. This allows the model to generate the global structure at the first scale and gradually add details in subsequent scales. Note that when we upsample the image between scales, we also add blur. This is the reason why, as I mentioned before, 
During the forward process, we teach our model to also remove blur. After we train this model, the, simple, the simplest thing we can do is sample new images. As opposed to regular diffusion models, here we can sample images of arbitrary dimensions by choosing the size of the noise map, noise map uh, at the starting scale. As you can see, the samples are diverse and of high quality. Notice that some of the images contain patches that did not exist in the training image. For example, a gap in this aqueduct, or a big cloud behind this pantheon, or under representation of these distant mountains. These examples show that our model generalizes, generalizes beyond the patch distribution of the training image. We compared our model to existing single image generative models. We mark with deep green and light green the models that achieve the best and second best scores. In terms of pixel diversity and semantic diversity, we achieve the highest score, meaning that we provide the most diverse generations. In the case of no reference image quality scores, we achieve the comparable results to the other methods. Lastly, we compare the single image FID score here we see that our generations are less bound to the internal patch distribution of the training image, like we saw with the previous slides examples. However, this does not prevent our method from obtaining satisfactory results in a wide range of image manipulation tasks. Here we show image generation with new content guided by text. For example, turning an old castle into Camelot, King Arthur's legendary castle or adding the famous Matterhorn Mountain to an image. Also adding the Grand Canyon to a desert image. Notice that we generate samples that both conform to the text prompt and preserve the training, internal st training image internal statistics without the need of sacrificing one over the other. This is done by guiding the generation using a pre-trained clip model Note that we use guidance for all scales except for the coercest, allowing clip to change the global structure of the image as well as the finer details. We compare our text-guided content generation to similar existing methods using a forest image with an input a fire in the forest. This method, the first method, is text to live from the group of Tali Dekel. It synthesizes an edit layer that fits the text prompt Note that while the result is good, this method cannot generate new scene configurations or images with new dimensions. We also compare to stable diffusion text-based editing. Notice that choosing a weak guidance scale barely modifies the image, while stronger scales become less similar to the original image. And the outputs are also limited to the original image size. In our method, we can obtain diverse generations at arbitrary dimensions, which both comply to the given text and stay loyal to the training image. Here we demonstrate image generation with a new style, also guided by text. For example, turning a seascape drawing into Monet or Van Gogh style, or a sunset image. Note that the images can be generated in, in arbitrary dimensions as well. This effect is obtained by starting the image generation from the coarsest scale, applying clip guidance only at the finest scale, allowing changes to the finer details. Here, like before, we compare our text-guided style generation with other methods, this time using a night sky image with the text Monet style. Again, text to live provides an edit layer over the original image, which is limited to creating images of the same size as the original. Stable diffusion, like before, either generates an image with limited conformity to the text or an image that is not loyal to the original. Again, the samples are limited to the original image size. Our model generates diverse samples in arbitrary sizes which conforms to the text and stays loyal to the training image. Here, we demonstrate text guidance style transfer. Once can, one can use text to change the style of the training image without changing its global structure. As an example, we show four styles on three different training images. Notice how only the fine details change where the global structure is fixed.
This effect is achieved by simply injecting the training image directly into the finest scale and applying clip guidance using the given text. In contrast to the previous applications where we first sampled a new image, starting from the coarsest scale, we can also use our model for non-text related applications. For example, harmonization, style transfer, and region of interest guided generation where the user can decide where certain regions should be in the new generated image. Here we showcase another text-based application where the user can choose a region of interest within the image and edit it with text. We can qualitatively compare to DALI 2 with our method. As you can see, our method provides results which, which look more natural within the image. And that also comply to the given text prompt. To conclude, we presented a single image diffusion-based generative model which opens the door to external guidance-based applications in the single image domain. In particular, we demonstrated text guidance with a pre-trained clip model this allows us to generate new content, new styles, and scene, at, and scene configurations at arbitrary image aspect ratios guided by text, which is currently not possible with externally trained models. You can find our paper, code, and more examples on the project's website. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Hi, uh, interesting talk, thank you. Um, so I have a question, have you tried it on uh, fine-grained uh, data? On uh, what? Uh, fine-grained. Fine-grained? Yeah, so, so you know, distinguishing between two very similar classes, so this is like more landscapes and things like that? Mm, we tried on uh, several domains. There are some domains that work better, some that work uh, a little less better, but, but you can, um, See in the project website, maybe there's something that is uh, close to what you would like. Cool, thanks. Another question here in the front. Do you uh, train your model on graphic elements, like making new logos from existing logos? Graphical uh, uh, meaning, not text processing. Uh, we tried it mostly on natural images, but uh, this can be a nice uh, thing to try. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's thank the speaker again.